Yeah, morning all. Just thought it was worth uh, stopping in this field again because it just serves to, as a good example in terms of what um, we should be thinking about crop nutrition wise now. If you remember back in the autumn, then uh, we did some uh, video and comment on getting the crops really uh, ready for the spring. Um, and one of the recommendations then was to get on with our um, Yaravita maize boost product. That um, was a pre-Christmas application we talked about then at three litres a hectare. Now, if you didn't get that on, um, then now is the time. It's going to supply that foliar phosphate, some zinc there, all into the plant, ready for really kicking off this spring growth and keeping the health of the plant in good condition. So that's what we want to be thinking about right now. Sort of T0 timing as we as we approach that. You've probably already got some nitrogen into the system. Certainly somewhere around 70 kilograms of an hectare is our recommendation now to really build that towards that biomass that we're wanting for the foundation of yield. So that maize boost that goes on now is just going to get those roots activated to start making use of that nitrogen that's gone on. The trials that we've done over the years have consistently now given us this 0 0.5, 0 0.6 tonnes or even more per hectare of yield, extra yield. So the return on the investment's very, very good. So it's an application that really wants to go on and be part of the routine. Of course, the next one then will follow that will be the T1 timing application of Gramatrel at 2 litres hectare. So that gives us a really nice program to work with. Um, so T0, the Aravita maize boost at 3 litres hectare, and then we follow that with Gramatrel at 2 litres a hectare at T1.